live from the Metal Fest Austria. First day and first day with Nergal from Behemoth. Good to see you. Good to be here. Thank you so much for having me here. Is it good to be back in real life? Pretty much, yeah. I enjoy it a lot. Second coming, that's what it's called. It's like a birthday. So, in the beginning of this year you do your first tour. After that you're really back in life. And I can remember I saw a show in Linz in Austria where you really scream out, it's so good to be alive. So how, how was the feeling to come back on the stages? Incredible. I was just speechless, you know, first show it was very, it was very difficult uh, and very emotional too at the same time. But later on, like every next show, I was uh, more and more comfortable. So now, when I go on stage, it's pretty much uh, like entering my mother's room, you know what I mean? I feel very comfortable and I hardly have any stage fright anymore. I don't care. Those are the people, the reaction from the people it must be great. Yeah, yeah, it's very encouraging. It is. When you go through this time, I think it was one of your biggest fights you always have to go through in your life. Yeah. At this time, it's a really, for me, interesting question. Do you stuff in your belief? Or did your, your views in this world carry you through that? Or was there a point where you're thinking, if, where you were ask yourself about life, you know what I mean? Ask yourself about life, about your God? Like the, the sickness didn't make me ask about life and death, you know, and all the es eschatological topics, so to say, because I've always thought about them, you know, I've always been thinking about life and death. So no, I mean there was no like big transformation whatsoever. I think about life every day. I think about death every day, you know. And I know what do, how this world is built, and I know it's all about cycles. So uh, I don't want to play a hero, but uh, but uh, the sickness didn't really make me like uh, it was just another obstacle I have to. Another part of life? Yeah. Oh, another obstacle I had to fight, that's it. You run against that, luckily. We look forward to the future. I think, I hope you will start to record a new album or into the record of a new album. Now we're touring a lot, we're doing these festivals and some other summer festivals, which is exciting. Then we'll be coming back to Russia, South America, South Africa, crazy. And then we'll focus on the next record. So probably it'll be coming out in... Uh, um, so I spent so much time to read your lyrics oh. about what you're, writing, what you're writing in your songs. So for me it's an interest, what is your, your, your view on this world, you know? I mean, crazy things happening, people try to tell us things who are not real, people try to pull society down. I don't know how it's going on in Poland, I mean, I see it here in Austria. It's sometimes very a big joke when you open the newspaper and you read something like, ah, okay, again. Is that for your songwriting? Is that added important things? Do you let the world come into your songwriting process? Or is, is nothing interesting for you? Well, I think that like, even though my lyrics are, like in many cases, are like rooted in uh, ancient history, or inspired by ancient history and some other stuff, you know, the occult and stuff, but uh, they still like they're a mirror, they're a reflection of what's happening uh, around me. So, yes, I definitely keep my eyes open and try to learn from every day. Every new challenge every day? No, what I'm saying is that I try to learn from my observations and uh, transform them into, channel them into our lyrics. Do you think this religion in every way is very important for us today? If it's in our, in our I don't know how to, how to explain it in the real. Well, religion for once by himself? I'm a religious person, so I'm probably the wrong person to ask. No, but I'm interested in your view about that question. Um, I'm pretty sure there's part of society that, that, um, that have this ship nature, you know, and they need to be led. And they're blind, you know, so they need uh, someone to open their eyes. That's why they need religions and um, preachers and um, soul saviors, so to say. But, uh, 
Yeah, I don't need one, no. What is the, the, the message you want to give uh, with Behemoth to the people out there? To stick to your guns, stay strong. Survive? Staying alive. It's a good message to people. Stay alive and stay strong and think for yourself. So keep your own person. Stay individual. Important thing I think in this world. Huh? Important thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Indeed. I think the music is a little bit upset in the background. <laughs> it's, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> so I think we come soon to an end of this interview. There's only one question I'm really interested in. It's uh, when you look at the music scene. Yeah, you can see all the parts going on, all the hypes and all the overrated shit what's going on in the general scene, in the metal scene. As you say, like bands like this. Uh, what do you think the real music? What is, what is music for you? Emotions. There's a lot of bands that put a lot of notes there and they shred and stuff. But I hardly ever hear emotions, you know what I mean? And it's just, uh, it's like fucking Oktoberfest kind of music, you know what I mean? It's, it's empty, there's nothing there, there's no substance. I'm looking for substance, I'm looking for something that, that will touch me, that will uh, move me. But obviously, everything is relevant. So uh, I'm, I can only speak uh, on my behalf. And other people will, may have like completely opposite opinions. So I'm just telling you my opinion. And what is changing for you as a person? I mean, when you started with your band back in the 90s, you started as a real black metal band and coming in the music, not in the personal view, and coming more in the death metal side of the music. Well, I, I, I stopped labeling our music years ago, you know. To me, it's all about sincerity and quality. And as long as we're honest, that's all matters, you know. And it's you journalists, you know, who decide to put stickers on, on everything. Other journalists mean that because I'm not I'm very open-minded and don't put music in. I mean, like, I have no problems, you know, whatsoever. You know, people call us black metal or death metal. I think we are actually, we come from a black metal root, but... Um, when you think of Slayer, you never think of thrash metal. You think of Slayer as... You think of Slayer? Of Slayer. So I think of Behemoth as a Behemoth, you know. Of course. As, as uh, um, autonomic subgenre, you know, as the sound that's original and that stands out. That's how I would like to think about about my own band. Yeah. So you keep it behemoth as behemoth, and nothing you can say, okay, that compares to that. We are part of some genre, you know, but I just refuse to call it, refuse to name it, because not what. Not my job, you know. Your job is to do good music. Exactly. For yourself. Yes. So, I would say thank you for your time. Thank you for the interview. I hope it was good for you. And the last words are yours for the fans. Stay strong. Never give in. Thanks.